Greetings from Technopod.net. Today we will take a look at how to enable HDR on PlayStation 4. We have connected our PlayStation Pro model to the Samsung CHG70 monitor. This monitor enables HDR. Let's take a look. What do we do now, Recep? We go to settings first. Let's go up to the right to the briefcase logo. Here we see settings. And where do we go from here? And then we go to sound and screen. Let's see sound and screen. Video output settings. Yes. And there's this HDR setting. We have to enable deep color output and HDR both. When we enable automatic HDR, you also see deep color output is enabled by default. Also, we suggest you take the resolution to the automatic setting and RGB range to the automatic also. We will have deeper colors. So, we don't see any notification. How do we understand that we have enabled the HDR? There is a little gimmick there. The HDR is enabled when an HDR supported game is launched. So we are now not seeing HDR, but when we open Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, for example, we will see that we have enabled the HDR. Let's wait. At this moment, the monitor understands the HDR signal and gives us an info. This guide is both applicable to the monitors and TVs. You can have a TV or monitor and you can use this guide to enable them both. If your settings are already automatic, then you don't have to do anything. If you also have a setting in the OST menu like HDMI 2.0, you need to enable it. Also, when you open the game, it will ask you to make the necessary arrangements to better see your way inside the game. Like gamma settings in each game, you have to do some HDR settings when you first run the game in HDR mode. There are also some limitations about recording HDR games. Yes, you may encounter some bugs and some problems and we suggest you take the HDR off if you encounter any problems when playing the game. So. We are at the end of this guide. For more, you can take a look at technobot.net.